those prisons and those guns and those corrupt judges and that white supremacy bullshit and you have the nerves to try to make people be criminals for utilizing their natural universal given right to copulate and keep their, their seed alive on this earth. The nerve of you guys and that's one of the reasons why these light ships are killing you guys in mass. And then the stubbornness and the selfishness and the greed and the ability to think you are to overlook the sun and not do as you have been told. All of that is the reason why I've been telling you guys that they're going to rock about Seattle ass. Take my word for it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do just what the sun tells me to do. He said, "Get off your ass and give him a chance to buy the green light again." I already know you, you're not gonna buy it. I already know that. Okay, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get an opportunity to get some money together to do what's necessary, and I'm gonna do it. And then I'm gonna give you guys a chance to follow the sun's order. I know you're not. I already know. So I already know what's gonna happen. I told you, time travel. Okay. All right, and they have heard it said, "When then can be?" It said, "Who then can be saved?" And he said, "The things which are impossible with man are possible with God." Then Peter said, "Lo, we have left all and followed thee." And he said unto them, "Verily I say unto you, there is no man that hath left house or parent or brethren or wife or children for the kingdom of God's sake." I mean that you're not doing it for God. You're doing it for yourself. You know, the, the Satan, the God doesn't even has one thought of having a concern about anyone doing a damn thing. All this stuff is supposed to be initiated and activated from that inner drive inside of you to find your God true essence. That is where all this sparking is supposed to come from from the inner intricate actions of self wanting to know self is what makes you supposed to go on a quest for God and you find out when you're on a true quest for God about the quest for your God self not some fabricated God given to you by some freaking businessman corporations that's selling you a fake God other than yourself and keeping you broke as they use that money to set up corrupt business practice and, and, and politics, all right? Okay. Listen to this. Crucifixion and resurrection foretold. Then he took unto him the twelve and said unto them, Behold, we go to Jerusalem, and all things that are written by the prophets concerning the Son of Man shall be accomplished. For he shall be delivered unto the Gentiles, and shall be mocked and spitefully entreated and spit it on. Now, the Gentiles are the white people. They turned around later and stole the identity of being the Jews, but the real Jews are it's us melanated people. Use the you and the eyes, okay, that we called ourselves the Jews. The Caucasian people stole that. They know they were the Gentiles. Ladies and Gentile men, gentlemen. That's who they were. And the original Jews is us melanated people. Alright? That's why Yeshua told them. You call yourselves Jews, but you lie, and the truth ain't in you. You are synagogues of Satan. That's in this book right here. We'll probably get to that soon. All right. For he shall be delivered unto the Gentiles, and shall be mocked and, spe and spitefully entreated and spitted on. That's the same circumstance with us to this day when it comes to you white people and the treatment we receive from you guys. The same type of shit right now to this day. Spit it on. Rock stone at your ass. Don't want you to have a job. Don't want you to be copulating with your wife. You know, lock you up in prison. Why ain't you got a job? Well, because you know the game y'all play. Well, you're going to go to prison because you shouldn't have got your girl pregnant. And while we put you in prison, we'll make Joy over there go over there and stick it to her. And by the time you get out, she'll have a mixed child to confuse your child. And this is how we get down. All that crazy shit. All of it. Okay? Okay, and they understood none of the, and I don't have a problem with mixed children. What I'm saying is that our world is deliberately set up and orchestrated where all these different arrangements of skin characteristics and skin complexions are all viciously conditioned to have lack of trust in each other, if you will, and a lot of two-facedness, only because it's helpful when you're a person that have to play both sides.
to know how to do that. It's the way it is. Okay. Okay, so now, for he shall be delivered unto the Gentiles, shall be mocked and spiteful and treated and spit it on, and they shall scourge him and put him to death. The third day he shall rise again. Now, they said that Jesus died on Friday and rose on Sunday. Big problem with that. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's not enough days. If you rise in three days and you got killed on Friday, sorry. If you rise on Sunday, you're a day early. Now do the math yourself. All right. And they understood none of these things. And this saying was hid from them. Neither knew they the things which were spoken. That means that they couldn't understand what Jesus was talking about. That on the third day he shall rise again. All right. And it said, and these saying was hid from them. Neither knew they the things which were spoken meaning they couldn't understand the parables of this prophet speaking to them telling them things that was way outside of their grasp so they was really dull with it which is the circumstance of the masses today the God man come to talk to you and bring light ships and the sun making X's and he telling you tornadoes gonna get you and you see the fire and the electric wires, that's the same fire you see in the sun, and the same fire that you saw in the volcano. And I'm telling you, it's the energy of God through the working through the electromagnetism of the universe. You know, God made these light ships that I come here with, but you can't see me as being God because my skin is black and I guess my attire and all that stuff is more important than the ideal of me being the green light that's inside because you just can't see that but all the same I am that I am and I hope that you can see that being the way it is before you have to feel that green light feel the way it feels just take my word for that you're gonna be a lot more happy if you utilize this and see my authenticity than to go the other way and let the green light confirm my authenticity. Just take my word on that. All right. Okay. Let's go on with this. And it came to pass that as he was come nigh unto Jericho, a certain blind man sat by the wayside begging. See, begging in poverty back then. Okay, this is in Jerusalem, the land of Jesus, where he was birthed and everything, all the miracle bringer, all this poverty right at his launching of existence. See, that's why they put all this stuff in this Bible to make you believe that civilizations have always been erected and centered around having poverty and circumstances of derelicts and people without, but it has not. The biggest problem with Egypt is that she extended her wealth to all of the low undeveloped people that came and she hanging out bread and the true first missions and the true first feedings of everything including the black panthers they were the ones who first started feeding the underprivileged um black um school children and in the, in, the, in the urban areas around los angeles and detroit we started the black panthers started the school lunch systems before any Europeans got inclined to do anything like that. It started with the black people starting to feed their children at school because of the fact that we were always so bombarded with uncertainties and un unsureties of how things would go because of our constant having to combat the harassment from the Caucasian people as to where we always had to work together back in the day to make everything more effective, all our efforts, and so we started feeding our children in school because of everyone having to go to work and work extra hard to pay for our inflated living costs. We all managed to open up kitchens in the school where the parents all brought their children and fed them breakfast at school. The people at the school was preparing it. Not only did that go on for breakfast, it went on for lunch and even dinner. 
So this is something that I know all the communities in America can do because when I was a child, I remember going to school, seeing the lady who lived down the street from me, giving me waffles and sausage in the morning. And then the next morning, I see another lady who lived down the street from me doing the same thing. And so it was easy for me to figure out that it was people in my community who had my best interests at heart. And it was just genuine love that you don't receive when we went to some of the fast food restaurants today. And I was watching my friends pay all, all that extravagant money. And then I looked at the food that they was getting. No love, cold, just garbage. Just garbage. I even tasted some of that because it's, it's just everywhere. I didn't eat any meat, but I ate some of these potatoes. I had some cheese and some sour cream on it. I only ate about three little pieces of it. I don't want to be putting that stuff in my body too much, but you know it's everywhere. Every now and then, just through osmosis, you're going to end up getting some garbage. You know what I mean? Okay, so now, what goes on is said, um, now this guy sitting on the side begging. And hearing the multitude pass by, he asked what it meant. And they told him that Jesus of Nazareth passes by. And he cried, saying, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And they which went before rebuked him, that he should hold his peace. But he cried so much, the more, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood and commanded him to be brought unto him. And when he was come near, he asked him, saying, What wilt thou that I shall do unto thee? And he said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Receive thy sight, that faith hath saved thee. And immediately he received his sight and followed him, glorifying God and all the people when they saw it, gave praise unto God. And the conversion of Zacharias and Jesus entered. Oh, just a minute. And immediately he received his sight and followed him, glorifying God and all the people when they saw it gave praise unto God okay so I, I like to read the stuff that Yeshua spoke okay here's some more stuff right here and Jesus entered and passed through Jericho and behold there was a man named Zacchaeus which was the chief among the publicans and he was rich and he sought to see Jesus who he was and could not for the press because he was little of stature. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down for today I must abide at thy house. And he, ate, he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they all murmured, saying that he was gone, that he was gone to be guest with a man that is a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood up and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him foretold. And Jesus said unto him, This day is salvation come to this house. For so much as he also is a son of Abraham. For the son of man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. And this is the parable of the pounds. And as they heard these things, he added and spake a parable because he was nigh to Jerusalem and because they thought that the kingdom of God should immediately appear. He said, therefore, a certain noble man went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return and he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them occupy till i come but his citizens hated him and sent a message after him saying we would not have this man to reign over us and it came to pass that when he was returned having